What I'm going to do today is I'm going to make a foam board insert using some foam board, a knife, and lots of glue <laughs> until it glues. We're going to make one for the Saloon Tycoon. It was a Kickstarter game my brother did, and I'm doing this for his birthday. So it's got a lot of pieces in it, and when you open it up, it's a mess. Everything just jumbles together. It's got all these large pieces, a lot of small pieces, cubes, gold, miniatures, cards. Okay, so we're going to start speeding up the video here soon. And before anyone comments in the comments section, I do realize I said knife instead of exact knife. And those aren't miniatures. Instead, they're meeples or wooden figures, whatever you watch to call them. But here, I'm taking everything out. I'm sorting it by name and size and then immediately go into sizing the baseboard because the very the start of it you're going to have to get the dimensions for the bottom of it once i have that i mark it on my foam board uh, and as you can see it goes in a square I have to move around some stuff but then i'll eventually start making the lines and cutting it and of course like they always say when you're doing woodworking uh, measure twice cut once because even though foam board is relatively cheap. I mean, it's about, I guess, about $4 uh, foam board now, or a little bit more if depending on the area you live in, but uh, you don't want to be wasting foam board uh, because you missed cut. And so now I measured the sizes, and you see I have a little piece of paper I write down the sizes so I can reference them back to them, and I'm not having to remember them. Uh, there's just a lot going on. The cutting board below it is just to protect my wood table, so that way I'm not cutting and gouging into there, but instead I'm gouging into a board. Uh, and I do about a couple cuts. Right there, I needed to shave off a little bit of the excess. It was, uh, uh, when I cut it, it didn't quite cut straight. So I had to go back and shave off just a little bit to make it a little straight. Or if it's a little taller, you'll have to shave it off because it's easier, but, um, as you can see, I can, it's always measuring. You measure a lot, you cut a lot. <laughs> uh, it's a really fun project to do. I enjoy it. Uh, as you can see, it starts to build um, together. And the you don't even have to worry about all the pieces yet. The main thing is getting the box created, but you also want to create enough room where when you have the main board, if there are any boards or the instructions that you're going to have room to put it into into the box without having the box like the top of the box needs to be flush with the bottom how it is designed so and then here I'm gluing and then I push little push pins into it uh, like I think it was like a dollar for like 200 of them and they, they just kind of hold it into place while the glue sets and then I take the exacto knife and I scrape away any excess glue that may have been on the other side just to try to clean it up a little bit. And I have a paper towel that I push it to over to it. So, and uh, yeah, I've done this type of project before. Uh, Merchants and Marauders, I did one for that. Um, man, I'm trying to remember. There's a couple other ones, but this was for my br my brother's birthday and. Uh, that's coming up here in just a few weeks and so I wanted to get them something special but I didn't want to just buy them stuff and as you can kind of see there's two levels the, the edges of it are different heights and that's to facilitate the, the boards the main board and the instructions of putting it in there without having to be crammed in there and so now I'm kind of just playing with like how I want to design it. And I'm looking at the instructions, figuring out what cards are actually going to be used. And I'm thinking what I've got now is I want to make a pullout because the cards and the gold pieces and the wooden blocks are something that you'll be needing every, every game. The rest of the board and the pieces will come out, but they can just sit on the edge. So I take the cards, I measure the card because I want it that high or that size and uh, now I'm marking it and I'm going to cut out that because this is going to be just a little pull out uh, area that will hold the cards, the wooden blocks and the gold pieces. So.
So of course I'm just slowly building this pull out. So I'm creating the sides, I've created the, the bottom of it, and I'll I've created the backing for it. And then eventually what I'll do is once you'll see here in just a few seconds, I'm always checking to make sure it's straight and that it's the correct size. And then I put the instructions and the boards into it, the player boards. So that way I can verify that it is the correct size, that I like it. If not, I can always shave it down before I start gluing it. Um, then once I get in there, I realize that I really wanted to have a little area um, that you can pull out the boards. So that's Millie, our cat. We also have two, or well, Hattie. And if you watch Jada's other videos, you'll know <laughs> they make appearances. and. Millie loves Slay in the box, so... <laughs> um, at one point later in the video, she'll chew on some of my pieces, and I have to lay her off the table, because I don't want her, but... So I have it set, and here's where I'm cutting out a little tab, or a little cutout, and then that one makes it just a little bit easier to grab the player boards and the instructions out of the box. Um, you can put a little your fingers in there, and... So now I'm setting the cards trying to figure out how I want. Um, when you start doing more phone board inserts, you'll end up with a lot of extra pieces. And I do highly recommend keeping them. Don't throw them all away. Because what can happen is you can use those extra pieces to do kind of a layout. And you can kind of see how things are playing, playing out, how they are going. So that piece I just set in is to help keep the pullout set. My problem is, I, as you saw there, I started putting extra glue. There was some space, and I was like, this isn't going to work. I don't like it. So I pull it out, and I redo it. Don't be afraid to do that. You, you know, it, it sucks, but if the piece isn't correct, you know, don't, don't stick with it. Because especially support pieces in the middle, you want them a little bit larger so that they help... Uh, keep the foam board together. They keep all the. They're supporting it. So, um, and if there's, I mean, there, there was almost a quarter of an inch when I ripped that the other one. So there was a lot of room, and it was just awful. But I set that piece aside. I can use it later for something else. So, um, also, I always pull out the push pin. So as you can see there, and a few other times in this video. Uh, I'll, I'll let the glue dry, and it takes maybe about, depending on how much glue you use, maybe like 5, 15 minutes, somewhere on there. Uh, it, it varies, but I use the push pins to support it, and once it's dry, then I, I pull the push pins out, so, because I don't need them anymore. So uh, that's Hattie. So she's kind of got a brown-black face, um, and uh, they're both calicos, both females. And she was playing around, and I'd have to make her move. <laughs> so I got this both spots for the uh, cards now built, and the the top area I'm making a box because uh, it's going to hold the cubes, the cubes for the, the wooden pieces and the gold pieces. So I make it well. It's going to have two boxes, but one big one, and then just a little insert in the middle. And this just helps me because what I wanted to do was you could just set this box on the table and next to whoever is leading the game and uh, then it's it's easy for them to grab the cards out it's easy for them to grab the little wooden pieces out and you could just toss the pieces in there uh, or you can just easily dump them <laughs> as I just did in there as I'm building I was making sure where I wanted it because there are a lot more brown cubes than are the gold pieces so of course I wanted the, that little area a little bit bigger so but this game it, you can look it on the Kickstarter and of course board game geeks um, but it's you build a saloon and in your city and then you're trying to get more you're trying to build a big, bigger and better saloon than everyone else in the game and uh, so as you can see I put the pieces in I had so much room after the pullout was done and I set them in there to try to figure out what I want to do and here's one of the designs I was thinking okay well I want the three larger pieces on one side so it sometimes 
I have no idea what I'm doing, and it's a lot of playing it by ear, uh, because you just have to look at it and go, okay, well, this is something I want to do. Okay, this is another thing I want to do, and then, and then you just start slowly building it. Uh, of course, at the very beginning of the video, I put all the pieces in to see how much room I had, because you may run out of room very quickly, and so you'll have to be creative. Uh, I did Eldritch Horror, another insert for Eldritch Horror, and that has a lot of tiny pieces, a lot of cards, and so I had to be very careful about what, I, what I'm doing um, and how I'm designing it, because actually so I have some of those inserts and those pull-out little cubes that actually will stick uh, will lay on top of other areas and of course there's a lot of foam board inserts that you can go look at references and uh, mine's definitely not the best I enjoy it I try to make it functional uh, other people so and then I like I put those little tabs in there that helps separate the the big pieces at the same time uh, it allows you to easily get them out and yeah and, and use them <laughs> for the game um, and it's a lot of cutting a lot of measuring but usually this is kind of the fun time because it's it's getting close to the end and like I have two sections already built now and I have to yeah now I'm doing the middle section and as you'll see the small pieces I have lined up but I start designing it and I realize this isn't going to work. You have no room to get your hands into there to get the pieces out. And I didn't realize this until I cut that middle section. There's Hattie again. Um, and I set it in there and I go, this, I don't like this at all. So I immediately, I changed the plan. And of course, this project took me about four days to build because I would spend maybe about an hour and a half after work on it or maybe two hours. I realize that time doesn't quite match up, but either way, it took about four days to build. Um, as you can see, kind of some of the cuts and, of course, my t-shirt changes and, and items move around. So I went with this design after all because this would, you could pull out the bigger pieces at the top and then I could just pull out all the small ones. And so what I do is I, I look at it see if this is going to work, try to get the design. So those, those little pieces right there, it's just a little square and then I cut it out some angle that looks, looks nice. Uh, it's not a specific angle, it's just whatever I feel that I like. And so I cut it and I get all the pieces ready to go, pull them all out and start gluing them. And then uh, I have one piece in there, actually not one piece, I put a piece in there, I mark where it the edges and then I'm just a tad like a hair bigger so the piece is not struggling to get in it just lays in there and as you can see there's the piece I mark the line vaguely kind of see it and then I just move the piece a little bit over and I glue it and I put some pins in there so my recommendation is those pins after a while it, fingers start to get a little numb <laughs> so if you got a thimble or like a little paper towel or something just to just to help push it in because after a while the heads of the pins just start to wear on your fingers and it starts to be painful even though they're only these little tiny pins but um, so I built it there we go and I'm liking the design so far and I'm getting really close to the end once this end once these last two pieces are in and of course I'm always checking to make sure because the glue hasn't quite dried so I can always pull them out and reset it if I need to and there it goes right in there I'm getting all the pieces in because it's done and all right well I hope you enjoyed watching the video of me doing a custom insert for like Saloon Tycoon it actually took about three days and it was about I think four hours to complete this so everything has a spot. I know the cards seem like they're like an afterthought, but there's not really a good way of, or at least I don't think there's a good way of like storing those, so they're kind of just sitting there. But yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Is it going on my art channel?
Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah. So I'm here too. I still exist. Yeah. Um, this is my fiance. And he means this thing. He's crafty too. So yeah, like and subscribe for my fiance. <laughs> Maybe I'll make him make more crafts in the future. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye.